Let's have a talk. Do you guys trust me? Do you believe that I, I have the best intentions? Are you willing to take a risk? Are you willing to get outside your comfort zone? Well, if your answer is yes to those questions, then I beg of you, come along. Come along with me on this new journey into a new world. Fly fishing. Today I'm opening up the fly crate. Stay tuned. Heidi ho guys, welcome back. Welcome back to No Redemption Outdoors. And here we are in the shop again on a hot day. It's 94 degrees here in the shop right now. And no complaints though. I am not complaining. I'm gonna put a link up above. We did a fishing trip over the weekend and it was hot. So check that link out above. It was a good time though. We had a great time. We didn't catch much of anything. I would say we basically got skunked. But you know, that isn't really what it was about, was it? It was about the day we had uh, together with the guys and just having a good time. So check that out. But in the meantime, I appreciate you stopping by today because today we're going to begin a journey together. Some of you guys may be seasoned veterans. I've begun the journey into the world of fly fishing. And you may be asking yourself, why in the world would you do that? Well... Uh, when I was a kid, I had a, um, a fly rod. I actually still have it, and I was looking at it recently. And um, it was an old fiberglass fly rod with one of these old finger trigger, you know, pinky trigger fly reels that have the, you know, automatic retrieve. And the thing works like it was brand new. Things 40, 50 years old by now. But uh, it just brought me to mind, you know, I never really gave fly fishing a, ch a chance. I had that rod. I don't think I, I don't know if I ever even caught a fish on it, let alone go looking for a trout or something. You know, it just kind of went by the wayside. But I decided, what the heck? You know, why not? And as it turns out, a fly fishing rod can be a very effective tool in, in bass hunting. And they actually have flies specifically for bass hunting, and that's what brings us to today, the fly crate. This is, I think, an ideal application of the monthly subscription box because I know nothing about fly fishing. I know nothing about how to select the proper fly in any given set of conditions for any given species of fish. I don't know anything about it. The fly crate takes all the guesswork out of it for me. Every month for $19.99, they send me five or six lures, five or six flies, selected based on my choice of bass. I, I chose bass as my species. And uh, when I receive them, there are you know tips and instructions how to properly use the, the fly. And it, I don't have to worry about that variable. I don't have to worry about am I choosing the right bait? Is this... Is this a bait that's ever going to produce? Uh, that that is that guesswork is taken away. So that's something that I really really appreciate about this. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this box, and then afterwards I'll talk to you about the fly rod that I picked up. Um, I picked up a fly rod and a little tackle bag. So I'll show you that after we do the box opening. But let's go ahead and get this open. I I went ahead and cut it already, and this is what it looks like when you open up the box. And I took the packaging out. And you might be thinking, wow, there ain't much in that box, but you would be wrong. So let's go ahead and take a look. First off, we got a couple stickers, and that seems to be a, you know, a requ requisite thing in, in these monthly boxes. Let me see if I can get you in focus here. All right, so there's one. I'm put on my glasses so I can see. And uh, here's another one. This is actually just a, uh, a white silhouette. Not any design or anything on it's just a white silhouette so that's interesting and of course as is typically the case with these boxes there is the what's in the box guide and this is a nice little magazine uh, it's very helpful because not only does it tell me what's in the box but it also gives me some tips about how to use these baits correctly and hopefully produce you know bass so let's just go ahead and dig in we'll go one by one through here 
Uh, first thing in the box is, there we go, tapered leader. This is 9 foot 3x, uh, 6.8 pounds. I have come to learn in my short time of studying up on fly fishing that the fly line and the leader are very, very important. Perhaps as important, some might say more so, than the rod you choose. Just to give you a sense of it, inexpensive fly line can be 30 40 50 bucks for one spool uh, quality stuff can run upwards of a hundred bucks i've seen it online and it's astounding to me but this is very typical within the fly fishing world that's one of the things i'm learning also i've learned about tippet and you fly guys are probably chuckling right now and you bass guys are wondering what the heck is tippet well trust me if you get into fly fishing you will learn what is tippet all right so every month when the the flies come in a little container so we'll go ahead and pop open the container and you can see i'll try to help focus it there and we'll just go one by one so the first item is called the white red bass bug popper size two for scale that's a fair size popper that's you know you put on a fly line and I that's not what comes to my mind when I think about a fly I think about something a lot smaller but again we're going after bass and uh just I'll read quickly here this says uh bash or am ambush style predators which make fly fishing poppers a thrill this deer haired popper is ideal for bright sunny conditions particularly when casting near thick aquatic vegetation eventually these will absorb water and will actually begin to produce a slightly different popping sound as it rides lower in the water. So that, so I guess it starts out floating and then it's, you know, over a period of time it begins to move down in the water column as it absorbs more water. Uh, so that's interesting. All right, so let's see what else we got here. Next up, looks like the same thing but a different color. The uh, yellow-red bass bug popper size 2. So as you can see, just as it says, yellow and red. Uh, it says, uh, deer hair poppers have an advantage over solid body poppers. When they hit the surface, the splat is heard more like actual prey and attracts bass, much like ringing a dinner bell. Once it does splat down, wait three to five seconds before starting your retrieve. So there's a little bit of a tip on how to use it. All right, carrying on. Next, we have the bass crawler streamer white size four now this is a bit smaller than the other that i just showed you and this is a white with it looks like a sparkly kind of feather there and then this attachment on the on there so let's read about it bass crawlers are extremely versatile streamer great for ponds lakes and rivers Okay, that's what we want. The rabbit zonker tail gives them wonderful action and short rubber, a short rubber collar adds a, a fidgety nature to the fly. In nature, white and silver is an extremely common color as most bait fish don't obtain much color until later in their life. So clearly this is seeking to imitate bait fish in some way. Uh, I'd be very curious to see what the action's like and how it how it is in the water, but it's apparently trying to imitate bait fish, so that's interesting. Uh, the next thing we have is the, again, same thing, different color, the Bass Crawler Streamer Chartreuse, size 4. So as the name implies, it is uh, chartreuse in color, and it is essentially the same thing, but just different color. And, but there is some more instructions here. It says, depending on the depth you'd like to fish, having a weighted line may be necessary. While these streamers are weighted, dropping this streamer at a fast sink rate may induce a bass to strike, especially if it's within range. So what it's saying is, although it already has a tendency to sink, if you put a sinking line on, it'll help cause it to fall more quickly, I assume, and that will you know, induce strikes. Chartreuse is a common attractor color for clear conditions that imitates the holographic scale on a bright bait fish. So again, we're imitating the bait fish and we're learning a bit about if we can get it to fall quicker, then we can induce reaction strikes. So 
you know, that's something that us bass fishermen understand. So again, it's a crossover. Uh, all right, next up, we have the bass crawler streamer size four and it's in black. So this is, a, uh, looks like we're getting multiple uh, versions of the same bait, just different colors. And again, I appreciate that because I'm filling out my collection of fly tackle. I'll show you here in a few minutes what I'm doing. Not only can you retrieve these streamers in, like all other conventional patterns, these are designed to be slowly stripped along the bottom. So what you're trying to do is get it to go all the way down. Um, its weed guard will help buffer this fly from debris without blocking bass from slamming it. Dark colors like black or olive are essential in muddy water and cloudy days as it perfectly contrasts the murkiness. So we want to get it down to the bottom and then strip it, meaning, I assume, meaning, you know, as you do in fly fishing, you just pull the line as you pull the bait in and along the bottom. Uh, that's how I'm envisioning how this would work. So... All right, and then the last one in the box is same thing, different color. This one's olive, again, size four. Okay. And let's see what it has to say about the olive. If we were to fish just one color, olive would be in the top two choices, hands down. The olive bass crawler imitates a large variety of minnows, leeches, and sculpins. Use, use floating line to fish this pattern close to the surface with quick strips and slight pauses. When the strike does come, strip set it to ensure that the fish was securely hooked. So this is a bit of a topwater tactic. And again, these baits seem to be able to do both topwater and then, you know, at various depths in the water column. Depending on your technique and a variety of factors, it seems as though you can fish this in different patterns. So that's really cool. All right, so that's what's in there. That's this month, and I think this is uh, the August 2020 edition of the Fly Crate. I'm not sure because it's very late in the month, but with the mail the way it's been, it's hard to say. Again, this is a journey, and I'm learning, and I want you to come along with me, maybe teach me a few things. Maybe I can help you learn. Who knows? You Fly fishermen, I would love if you'd provide some comments down below, either about what baits are in the box and what your thoughts are about those, or maybe some thoughts about how to best use them. You know, how would one go out with a fly rod to catch bass? So I'd be curious in any comments you might be able to drop below. That'd be great. All right, so as I mentioned at the beginning, uh, I did pick up a fly rod. You know, I had a few points saved up at Bass Pro, and I had a gift card from, from Father's Day. And I thought, you know, let's give this a go. So I picked up this Orvis. Uh, it's called the Orvis Encounter. And uh, I was advised this is a good starter setup. Uh, it's a nine foot rod, five weight. Uh, there are a variety of lengths and weights that you can get. But this one was recommended just because uh, apparently it's a very versatile size and weight uh, setup. And uh, I also have picked up this fly box. I got this off of Amazon. It's just a, I don't know, just a no brand, probably Chinese. But as you can see, I got, I'm starting to build out my collection here. And I'll just flip this open so you can see. And so the ones that I just showed you, I just opened, I'll put all those in here. This will be the beginnings of my, my fly tackle. And I also picked up an inexpensive tackle bag you know just to take tip it tip it remember that uh so i got this bag so when i if i'm not on the boat let's say i'm bank fishing or maybe i'm going to go up to the asabo and try out i do want to do that go up to the asabo river and do a bit of trout fishing this will come in very handy for that you know guys i don't know i don't know if i'm going to like it but something tells me the first time i hook up with a nice bass on that Long, light fly rod is extremely light. I think that's going to be quite the experience. I really do look forward to that. So uh, hopefully we'll get some of that on camera. All right. Well, I think that's about it for today. It's a little warm out here. I will tell you I am sweating badly. So I feel like I want to get inside, get into the air conditioning. Uh, I do appreciate you stopping by as always. And I hope you drop me a comment and uh, subscribe. 
hit the notification, give me a like. Uh, that always helps me with the algorithm, and I appreciate that. Um, I've been posting over on Instagram a little more lately, so check me out over there. And uh, as always, I appreciate you stopping by. And until we meet again, guys, take care.